Well, welcome, guys, and welcome to the final episode from The Vault for this week. So this is Covert Ops Nuclear Dawn. Released for the PlayStation 1 in 2000, developed by Sugar and Rockets, published by Sony Computer Entertainment and Activision. So this is also known as Chase the Express in EU slash JP regions. This is a third-person shooter that takes place on a train. It plays kind of like a survival horror game. It has fixed camera angles, tank controls, and a limited inventory. It doesn't play like one though since there's an emphasis on finding cover to shoot down enemies. Other than that, I don't know a whole lot about this game. I mainly learned about it from a video about uh, Resident Evil clones by Avalanche Reviews. It seemed neat, so I got it. In Eastern Europe, a terrorist group known as the Knights of the Apocalypse, led by ex-KGB agents Agent Boris Zugoski, successfully breach and board the NATO armored train Blue Harvest on the outskirts of St. Petersburg. He's holding the French ambassador and his family hostage and demanding a ransom of $20 billion in exchange for their lives. In addition, there's also a nuclear bomb aboard the train. Lieutenant Jack Morton is the sole survivor of the NATO team on board the train. It falls to his hands to try and rescue the ambassador and his family and thwart Zugoski's scheme. Alright, so let's jump right into it. We'll play on normal. Lieutenant, I never thought we'd be teaming up with the Russians. I bet the Russians are saying the same thing about us. We're almost at the Ukrainian border. All right, let's go in and give it a try. Yes, sir. This little button will blow all those stupid soldiers to hell. Stand by for the first attack. We have four unidentified incoming choppers. Are those Russian backup troops? Negative. We haven't received any reports like that. I don't know what it is about the CG, but it's just Get slightly off-putting. Three missiles at seven o'clock. What the hell is going on? Oh my god! Stand by for the second launch. Party time. Party time. guys are getting wrecked. Get the ambassador out of here! Wait! My family is still out there! Hurry up! That face! <gasps> Hurry and get dressed! Now! Mr. Ambassador! As you can see, you have no choice. And your wife's life means nothing to me. Mama! <gasps> you had better realize this. Understand? Ugh. Leave my family alone! He's got a face only a mother could love. How do you do, Mr. Ambassador? I am Boris Ugoski, the leader of our little band of terrorists called the Knights of the Apocalypse. Knights of the Apocalypse? What do you want? I am planning to use this train to obtain funds for our activities. What are you talking about? You're going to pay for this. Be quiet and listen. Ooh. I'm in charge here. Papa. No, Mr. Ambassador. You are mistaken. It is your government that is going to pay. Twenty billion dollars. And I brought this little toy with me to convince you. Oh boy. Attention, French government. We, the Knights of the Apocalypse, are now approaching your border. 
Truly, these are Covert Ops Nuclear Dawn. Yeah, there's just something about the animation. It just looks off. I know this was PS1, but this was 2000. So, it seems like it should be, like, a little better by this point. This is Lieutenant Jack Morton. The train has been taken over by terrorists in a sudden attack. We're aware of that. Lieutenant Morton, the circuit you're using now is connected to the UN International Counterterrorism Organization. I am the commander of that organization's headquarters. Is that clear? How many of your units survived the attack? None. Only me. Here's the plan. As it stands now, the Blue Harvest has been captured by an armed terrorist group called the Knights of the Apocalypse. They're demanding $20 billion in safe rail passage to France as ransom for the French ambassador. I'm dispatching a rescue team now. Lieutenant Morton, you will be under UN command. The French ambassador and his family are being held hostage. You are to make sure they're safe until the rescue team arrives. Report immediately when you've accomplished this. Roger! The terrorist might intercept our transmissions. Limit your radio use to emergency rescue requests. Any questions? How do we get in the train? There's a hatch on the roof of car 11. Roger! Jack, stay alert. Okay, so I have played, like, a little bit of the intro of this game. I didn't get very far, maybe like 10 minutes in. And so I don't really know a whole lot about this. Alright, so R1 is Crouch. Oh, that's... that's amusing. <laughs> I like that. R R2 and L2 are tactical rules. L1 is Quick Turn. I'm pretty sure square is shoot, and circle is run. Okay. Oh, and Jack will automatically target nearby enemies, but we gotta be careful because our ammo is limited. Uh, you. Uh oh, Here come baddies. Gotcha! Take the bullets. I think he can't shoot my head. Bye. Black Panther 9mm handgun, an Italian-made masterpiece. Pulls up to 15 rounds, fires rapidly with great accuracy. So when I was doing my test run, I didn't actually know that that dude dropped bullets. So, um, I, I actually ran out of ammo really quick. So yeah, as you can see, it does play a lot like Resident Evil, where it's got fixed cameras, tank controls, all that good stuff. Ooh, a first aid kit. I will take it. Doesn't look like there's anything else, so let's climb down the ladder.
guess it won't open while the train is moving. Makes sense. Alright, so that looks like some kind of kitchen, if I had to guess. Can't really see much in there, though. Alright, so we don't want to go down there just yet. There is a dude waiting for us, and I'm pretty sure he respawns. Which is weird. Items can be deposited in the box. I suppose we could save real quick. So I guess these areas essentially serve as a safe room where you can save and store your items. going that way. Oh, but he's coming back. I don't think I killed this guy before. I think I just immediately left the room. Well, we can kill him this time, I guess. Gotcha. So maybe I didn't need to kill them. Oh, I've got like a back step too. Neat. Maybe I could have just left the area and left them, and th I think they just despawn after. I could be wrong though. Nothing unusual about the plant. Fair enough. What's this? A unit! Okay. What an absolute unit. It says lift unit 11. I can't open the locker. Okay. was a fairly long screen transition. You got a note? The lift of the kitchen broke down again. I looked at the unit and noticed it had a faulty connection. I'll have to experiment with it, with it some more, but I should be able to fix it. Okay. It's a little bit of a bummer that those enemies didn't seem to drop ammo at all. I killed them right around here. Yeah, it looks like they didn't drop anything. You can try going upstairs.
Yeah, I think that this is a neat premise for a game taking place, like, for the majority of a game on a train. It's locked. I'll need a card key to open this door. Yeah, um, in my little run of the uh, intro of this, I did actually uh, completely run out of ammo, so I was just trying to punch enemies to death, and it doesn't work very well, let me just say. Oh, tanky boy. Oh, thank goodness. I needed those. Oh, and Triangle's first person mode. Interesting. Beautiful. Another first aid kit. I will gladly take that. That's locked. Requires another card key. So, upstairs we go. That's, that door's open. A vending machine. Too bad we can't get any snacks or carbonated sodas. Hey there, dude. Ah, oh, nice. I don't think I ever came in here. So I'm glad I found another handgun magazine. Magazine. Nothing unusual about these urinals. Or this toilet. NATO rescue teams were dispatched to escort the Blue Harvest. A NATO representative has revealed that in the event of emergency, all itinerary countries will be linked to UN agencies and a command HQ will be set up at the Pentagon. The train will depart Russia on December 21st, 24th, carrying the ambassador, his family, and historical artwork. Okay, so this is as far as I got before I got killed in my, like, test run. Because I didn't have ammo. Oh, that's... That's a weird... Weird camera. It's like you're controlling the... The fixed camera angle, kinda. It's kinda weird. 
Okay, well, I got a good bit of ammo now, so I think I can survive this bit. Color for bottles. Nothing useful. Looks like something's been removed. Well, it's time to use that unit, then. I was trying to punch these guys to death quite unsuccessfully. I did, unfortunately, waste one bullet there because I ducked back down way too soon. But that's okay. We're still doing okay. So what came up? I assume it's going to be a key card? Oh, or we're just going to climb in, I guess. Oh, it's going to take us to the kitchen. That makes sense, that locked kitchen. Hmm. Alright, so that'll probably unlock the door. Ugh. The cook's really been slacking on his cleaning duties here. He sprayed tomato ketchup all over the place. I, exactly! What a waste! Blood stains are fresh. No, duh! item there, but I guess not. Door unlocked. Nice. Alright, let's go see what's waiting for us. Because I can see the blood trail going off this way. Oh. There's a key card. It says VIP on the back. Surprise! I actually targeted him just before the camera angle switched there. I'm gonna need ammo again soon. I don't suppose he dropped anything. No, doesn't seem like it. That dude's back, so that's kind of a bummer. Told you he responds. The way these guards act kind of remind me of the the mooks from Metal Gear Solid. 
just from their models and like the way they act it <laughs> it reminds me of them a little bit the genome soldiers Okay, so this dude respawned, too. Not, not good. I, I, I'm really weary of survival games of this type that give you limited, uh, ammo to deal with enemies, but they throw also throw respawning enemies at you. That's not a good sign, usually. Okay, door open. I'm a VIP now. this French Pierre Simon 53 French ambassador to Russia former secretary of the old Gaullist party Catherine Simon ambassador's wife Jane Simon ambassador's daughter Philip Mason ambassador secretary translator for previous French ambassador Henri Riviere ambassador's SP former trainer for the French Foreign Legion Nothing in here. Oh, damn and blast. His throat was cut. Oh. Please be ammo. Yeah. Sorry, dude. A code lock. I don't know any codes. What's the memo say? Seventeen forty two. I thought someone was going to come through the door because he heard the noise. Oh. Due to a request from the NATO military, we would like you to travel on the Blue Harvest to Paris and be responsible for the cargo on board. For PR reasons, we'd like to have your family travel with you. Please have a safe and pleasant journey on the train. As a sign of peace, Russia is returning 250 pieces of art, which were confisca confiscated from Germany at the end of World War II. Awaiting your safe return with the artwork, John P. Jean P. Mondino, President of France. Huh. Nothing useful. 
Oh. They seem to be in Moscow's Red Square. Interesting. But other than that, nothing useful. <laughs> that was silly, but kind of cool. Ambassador, are you alright? I think so. Who are you? Lieutenant Jack Morton of NATO, sir. I was sent here to rescue you. Oh, thank God. They took my family away. My wife and daughter. Do you know where they took them? The terrorists were talking about taking them and one SP to the rear car. And who are you? My name is Mason. I'm the ambassador's secretary. I've also been in the military and SP service. I see. Mr. Ambassador, a rescue team is coming, but I'll try to rescue your family myself. Ambassador and Mr. Mason, you'd better stay right here and wait until you hear from me. That dude's got a shiny on him. What do you got, dude? I, I can tell he's dead, but what has he got there? Oh, another key card. Probably for that other door down below. If I had to guess. 11B is carved on the back, yeah, so more than likely. Oh, sh shoot. I hit square trying to run. Just casually wasted a bullet. No big deal. What's this? Looks like a five-sided piece was peeled off. A pentagon shape. Nothing strange here. Blue, yellow, red, green? That seems like it could possibly have some kind of puzzle meaning. Blue, yellow, red, green? But at this point of time, it's all just Greek to me. Of course, it also could have another element to it that I just don't understand at this point of time, too. This is Snake. Okay, so these guys are just going to chill out here. Okay, well, let's go check out that key card door real quick, and then we'll probably... St Oh, we're not in St. Petersburg anymore. Novgorod. So let's just check out that new area real quick and then probably stop after that.
No bullets, of course. Now, I've actually done a pretty good job of not getting hit for the most part. I think I've only been hit like once or twice. And I think these med kits heal, like, I think they heal you almost fully too, so. Ta-da! These loading, oh, these loading screens aren't as uh, flattering as the door cutscenes from uh, Resident Evil. Some more stairs. Dude! Now that guy was definitely tanky. Dear Diary, today I've lost my bulletproof vest. I've looked everywhere but can't find it. I hope nobody finds it before me or I'll be in big trouble. Billy's Diary. Well, uh, that dude could have possibly been wearing it. I mean, he took enough bullets to down. I mean, I would definitely like to find that bulletproof vest. The door to car 10 is broken, and they say we're scheduled to depart tomorrow. We'll have to use the external hatch, but still, access to car 9 is very inconvenient. I also noticed that the guards in car 5 are armed. What's going on with this train? Smoking, turn water off after use, handle the lockers with care. Came to shank me in the shower. Well, thanks for the first aid kit, I guess. That's not good. <laughs> Alright, well, I think that this will be a pretty good showcase of the game. Honestly, this game seems pretty fun. I, I can definitely dig it. it. It's a little weird, but I like it. But yeah, uh, I would definitely, I think I could definitely play through this game. I think it'd be fun. <laughs> 